to go over the Lakers free agency signings. Uh, the Lakers making a splash. You got Austin Reeves. Yeah. You got Rui, D'Angelo Russell, Gabe Vincent, Torian Prince, Cam Reddish, Jackson Hayes. Let's talk about the players individually. Brez, do you have a favorite? You just named all of them. That, yeah. that was really impressive. We're Hold on real quick. Anything. Producer Ryan, am I supposed to go through every person individually, or are we going to say what their favorites are? Yeah, who, 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 what, what, what's your favorite? You know, I think Austin we Reeves. We have a quick podcast, Brez. We're yeah. not playing around. Yeah, we're, we're just ripping yeah. through the roster here. Um, I think Austin Reeves, and here's why. Uh, the Lakers were concerned that they were going to have to pay more for him because they, they weren't expecting this ridiculous, you know, four-year, $98 million max that was floating out there. Someone might offer this to Austin Reeves. They weren't worried about that because that would mean paying him like 30 and $35 million in years three and four. That didn't happen. Instead, no one even bid for him, you know, ex except the Lakers. We wouldn't know that for sure. Maybe somebody did, but he didn't sign an offer sheet, so Lakers got him back for four years and about $54 million, depending on a couple final numbers here and there. I think it's great value. I think he's ecstatic. He, how, how could he not be? He made 1.8 last season. And now here he is making a little over $13 million for the next four years. Great contract for the franchise. Great contract for the player. And I, by the way, I love watching him play, too. I do, too. And I have to throw props out before you tell us what your favorite one was to the Lakers and how they handled it and Austin Reeves. From the get-go, both parties said, we are signing him uh -huh. no matter what. So it wouldn't be very smart for a team to try to throw their money in there. And now it's, it's, it's locked up. Yeah, until I mean, that it signing. worked out really well yeah. for the Lakers because, like, the Lakers did the thing where, like, you know, like an animal in nature yeah. flashes their bright colors and says, I'm poisonous, don't eat me. Yeah. Um, that's essentially what they you did. You want to like, play this game? We're going to wait till the six and sign him. And then look, I mean, would Austin Reed, I mean, is he happy with 54, 56, whatever it is? Yeah, I think he is because that's a lot of money. Would he have liked it if somebody threw out 70? Yes, but that wasn't, an, but everybody knew that the Lakers were going to match that. And so I think what the Lakers did too, was something nice that, you know, it was, it was smart. Mm -hmm. They had that fourth year option for Reeves. So they, at the end of that third year, he's probably going to be very underpaid. Yeah. He can come back onto the free agent market and the Lakers will do right by him. Then it'll, it'll work out. What's your favorite. I I'm looking at the new guys. I like Torian Prince mm -hmm. because I think what he does is balance out the roster in ways that they didn't quite have last year. He so essentially takes the, Lonnie Walker slash Malik Beasley spot, that 2-3 who can score a little bit, shoot the three and all that, and he moves it to a 3-4. Uh, and I think that balances out the roster really well, where now instead of just Jared Vanderbilt in that mm -hmm. you know, potential spot, you also have a guy now who can shoot a little bit, which will give a lot more optionality to Darvin Ham. What about a guy like Gabe Vincent? I oh, uh, was able to up. talk with him today over at the Lakers facility laker fans are really Robert. excited about that one and listen a lot of people um watched him kind of come of age during the playoffs yeah. he had a great nba finals that that matters for a player to show out show out at the right time he did that brez and he's getting paid Geet, I, I love this signing i mean of course i, I said austin reese was, was my number one uh but vincent has so much potential and if you'd said to me would you rather have him for 11 million or dennis schroeder for about 12 or 13 I'd say Gabe. I mean, he's 27. Uh, the, the upside is definitely there. He was so good in, in the first round. We're talking about the eighth-seeded Miami Heat. He was so good against Milwaukee. They don't beat Milwaukee without him. Mm. I mean, he, he was great uh, on offense, sticking a bunch of threes, good defender. You know, not, not like a feisty, shrewder, pick-you-up, 94 feet type of defender, just a bigger, a bigger player. He's, he's got a bigger physique. Uh, I think we're really going to like enjoy uh, watching him. Uh, uh, play some pretty good defense. And, of course, you know, they don't beat Boston without him either. I mean, these are, these are two big teams that, that Miami Heat beat, thanks to Gabe Benson. So I like it. Three years, $33 million. It's equitable for both sides. Again, he's happy. He wasn't making much last season. And when I say not making much, you know, yep. under $2 million, he's, not making, which, he's which, not making Geeter money, but like exactly. it's still a decent for normal people. Yeah, exactly. I mean, right. yeah. We, you always have to qualify that. I once, wore, I once wrote a story in the L.A. Times, and I wrote— You guys making fun of me? <laughs> no, we want to come over to your house. Right. We want to hang out with you and drink drink some fine wine at your place. I, I don't have, have that to, kind of money, Brett. What are, they, <laughs> what are they trying to say over here? I, I, I always have to do the qualification, because I wrote a story in the L.A. Times once, and I said, I don't even remember who the player was. Yeah. This guy's making only $2.6 million. And someone emailed me, because my email yeah. address was at the, at the end of every one of my stories in the newspaper when, when such a thing existed. 
And he's like, only 2.6 million? And it was like a long diatribe about how, you know, what I, about all of us, know. you know? And so, yeah. It, I hate that you have to put a disclaimer in there. I know. But it's like, of course we know this is big money. Yeah. But we're talking yeah. about what it is on the NBA stage. Exactly. Right. So they, in a league where the average salary is, is going to be $12.5 million, the under $2 million that Gabe Vincent was making last season, or right around there, he's ecstatic with his new contract. I, I mean, BK, Dennis Schroeder, because I'm glad Brez brought up his name. For the value, the value they got out of him for the price mm -hmm. was crazy because he was reliable. He started a ton of games. He played in all the games after he came back from that initial uh, injury to start yep. the season, and he was a big part of their team. So he kind of deserved what he got in free agency. Yeah. But now you add a guy like Gabe Vincent. I I, I think they're very comparable players. Yeah. I think they do a lot of they have a lot of similar characteristics. Both of them can get into the paint a little bit. Both of them you know, play really hard. They have the proverbial dog in them. Um, and, you know, I think Darwin will enjoy coaching both of those guys. And I think they'll be used in similar ways. They have similar shortcomings in terms of consistency with the three point shot. And, 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 you know, um, you know, Vincent's a little bit bigger than uh, Schroeder because we kind of all are, you know, I mean, we're all, we all weigh more than do, Dennis Schroeder. Do they, do they have that guy on the roster this year? Like that vet men guy that kind of plays that Dennis role? I think it's Vincent. I don't think they have a minimum guy who does yeah. it. I yeah. think, and so I think they. I like the Vincent signing as a replacement for Schroeder yeah. in conjunction with bringing back D'Angelo Russell, and you you have this kind of diverse skill set sure. in your backcourt. If they had let D'Lo go and just brought in Vincent, I don't think you're getting better. But I, I like what they did there.